guys, welcome to the Fight Against Antline. There's some things I just want to point out. I just want to thank you all for watching these type of videos. When I say these type, I mean the fights before the actual bonus battles. It really, really does help me know who likes these type of battles as opposed to the more serious bonus battles as well. Um, I do it pretty much for fun. I do it as well for the newbies because um, I discuss the debuff vulnerabilities and stuff like that to help... Uh, new people kind of get into the game. Uh, I know my characters are pretty high level, but um, hopefully you can kind of see uh, what their debuff vulnerabilities are, what the elemental weaknesses are, and stuff like that. So you can kind of do it for yourself, even though you don't have skills like Faraga or Fraja or summons as well. You can kind of split things up to defeat the boss, even using Fira, even using sleep because this guy has debuff vulnerability to sleep as well so you can actually exploit most of the debuff vulnerabilities and kind of get the advantage in the fight okay so let's get to it enough seriousness so i brought four characters along why four because i kind of wanted to keep it final fantasy 9 related and I, plus i don't have zidane yet i don't have Ar. i don't know how to say his name is it R R. Amarant? Amarant? <laughs> I think it's Amarant or something. If I'm saying it like a retard, then you can just say it to me. <laughs> okay, so you have to exploit this guy's weakness to ice as well. So definitely bring uh, Blazara and stuff like that. Whatever you have. I brought Blazara Strike. And also, I brought Blind as well. Blind will be a huge advantage as well, because most of these attacks are actually physical. You can even um, sleep him as well and just use magic characters. Uh, I guess we'll use Sentinels. I'm kind of treating it like a hard battle, even though it's not really a hard battle. Okay, Blinder and Shiva. Shiva I'm just using um, as just now. Ice attack, so you can just bring whatever you want, really. This is actually the first, I think it's the first time you use Eco before. Ico? I think it's Ico. Maybe I used it once in the. Maybe I did. I think there was a place where you made a not KO'd or something. You can't get a KO'd. Not ma made a KO'd. <laughs> okay. Let's Diaga. That's a pretty good attack. Yeah, it makes things really easy just to exploit their debuff vulnerabilities. And it really gives you the advantage throughout all these battles. Even though I haven't even played Final Fantasy IX in so long now. I actually no I don't think I ever finished it. I was really, really close to finishing and I just stopped. I'm sure it really had a good um, story to it, though. Okay, so that's the first battle done. Not too hard. So, Atline has 34,800 HP. Like I said, debuff vulnerabilities are silent, slow, blind, and sleep. A lot of physical attacks, not as much magic attacks. He has Fira, of course. Um, and he also has Sandstorm, which deals damage proportional to your HP. Basically, like, the... EXP Daily Dungeons, not EXP, um, I think it's the Wind and Lightning, I probably got that wrong though. So Dark Buster, Sleep Buster, what are you, whatever you have is really good in this fight. Anyway, thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next battle.